Oh, Pacho, Pacho, Pacho. Now, when we think about managers, GMs in the NBA, we think about those great legends and veterans, the uh, GMs. But one GM comes in particular with one of the worst teams ever in the NBA, the Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento who? The Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento who? The Sacramento Kings. Oh, that team, Sacramento Kings. I thought you were talking about the Sacramento Kings when they had Chris Webber, Vladi Divides, Hages the Activators, Mike Beebe, and Doug Christie. I am talking about those Sacramento Kings poncho, but that's been 15 years ago since they've had Chris Webber, Doug Christie, and all them. Oh. Well, I mean, so poncho, poncho, let me ask you something. Is it smart for Vladi Divides to put a two-year timeline on the Sacramento Kings. I'm mean, him being the GM. You know, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, DJ Blazin, let me break it down to you like this. Uh, Vladi Divac, he was put in that position to be GM because he really didn't have no experience when it comes to being a general manager. But... Is it smart for Vladi Divas to put a two-year timeline on his career? I mean, in person, my personal opinion, no, it's not smart. But he's just doing what he's doing. That's going out there and uh, managing and doing his best, basically. Uh, I will say this, DJ Blazing. If... A lot of you in the Sacramento Kings don't get any better. Then, uh, Pedro Stegovic will probably leave the team. And I'm not just saying that because, uh, Pedro needs to leave. Or I'm not just saying that because that, I need somebody else in there. I'm saying that because Vladi Divac knows the Sacramento Kings. And if there's anybody that could turn the Kings around, it would be Pedro. But when you get put into a situation, when you get put into... A mess like that, then you can only do so much. So I mean, honestly, uh, if the Sacramento Kings don't turn around and they won't turn around in two years, then Page uh, he will uh, be a man of his word and he will step down as the GM of the Sacramento Kings.